take you back to our reporter, Linda Mnisi, who is tracking the uh, Brendan Horner murder trial, which is uh, unfolding at the High Court, sitting in the Bethlehem Magistrates Court. He joins us now live. Linda, we've been discussing it for some time, and yesterday the state finally conceding that it has no case against the two accused. Yeah, Michelle, it continued to suffer many blows throughout this trial, with DNA not linking uh, the accused to the crime, both from the bloodstained clothes, including Brendan Horner's stolen vehicle. Also, if you look at the statements that were made by the witnesses, uh, you know, the defense uh, uh, describing them as contradictory. They say they were riddled with contradictions. We saw how one of the crucial witnesses in this case did a 360 turn, saying that, in fact, he had not written some parts of that statement, claiming that police have been involved in fabricating his statement. Yesterday, the nail in the coffin was the cell phone data records, which could not place both the accused at the crime scene. But we know the kind of interest that this story has garnered here in the Free State from the farming community. You'll remember how earlier last year they were outraged coming out in their numbers to really call for justice in this matter. I'm joined by two gentlemen who will give us a sense of their expectations uh, this morning and uh, perhaps what they make of what has happened so far. I'll start with you, Mr. Murray. Uh, you know, we heard yesterday the state saying uh, they don't have a case against this guy. Over a year later, as farmers and the farming community, how did this make you feel? Um, Linda, yeah, it's terrible. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, how was the investigation done that the the accused are basically going to go free and still, I mean, after a year that we've had a meeting with, uh, with Minister Becky Tele, nothing has been done on our situation that our biggest concern is still stock theft, farm murders, um, everything is going right, nothing's done to any of our concerns are handled in any, I mean, in any way. Um, and you know, farmers losing sheep, 500 sheep in a year. One farmer lost 300 sheep in one night, and nothing's done to it. Mm -hmm. um, where is it going to end? Where are we going to? Mm -hmm. um, with the Brendan Horner murder, I mean, what, what did they do in the investigation? How did this end up that the, the, the accused are going to go free? Mm. Does this give an indication of perhaps an example of how uh, the state or even the police have been dealing with all your complaints and the issues that you have been raising over this time around farm murders. Definitely, definitely. I mean, long before the Brendan Horner murder was, was actually committed, we as a farming community had our concerns and we mentioned our concerns to the police and we told them this is going to happen. One of these days something like this is going to happen and it happened and still nothing is done about it. Right. I'm going to bring in Mr. Lo Fanikerk in this conversation, Michelle. Mr. Fanikerk, um, I wonder if this uh, marks or even suggests that perhaps you're losing your fight in the quest to, uh, you know, stopping things like farm murders and stock theft. We are being hindered in, in the fight against this. Uh, just emanating from this Warner case, we have a number of questions, uh, like firstly, if we deal only with this case now, the two accused, how can they afford a legal representative? But they don't have work, so who's paying for that? The other question we have is, it is general knowledge that police are involved in stock syndicates. Uh, is this perhaps the reason why from within the police, certain circles in the police, that this whole investigation went haywire, because, so that the state didn't have a proper case. Uh, that brings me to the question of Kambule, the witness. Yeah. Maybe there was some pressure on him. Why the syndicate? Yeah. Why else would he change his story all of a sudden? Then, to mention a simple example of how deep-rooted this cancer 
from the police is into what is happening here is a herder, a stock herder of a police official was uh, arrested because they were stolen cattle in the herd belonging to this officer. Yeah. Shortly afterwards, this herder died. <laughs> you know, it is mind-boggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, Unfortunately, Mr. Mr. Mikael, we're, we're going to have to wrap it up there. Um, there you have it, Michelle. As you, you, you've heard, there some of the concerns that are being raised by the farming community are speaking about, you know, this issue around the farm murders. Clearly, there will not be an end to them. You'll remember the police minister, Beggy Klele, came to visit uh, these farmers shortly after Brendan Horner was murdered. And there's still a lot of questions, especially how the state handled this case. So. Later on then, this morning, we'll be hearing from uh, the Bethlehem Magistrates Court on what it made of this case. Judgment expected in the case. Uh, Linda Mnisi, thanks very much indeed for that update.